Now let's suppose we need to create a new hook. As we've been doing do, using the 1.6, it was a traditional way by creating an SQL, uh, an SQL query and then insert the new query name, then you know call it and all that stuff. But the newest version, the 1.7e, is much much more easier. So since everything is centralized into the theme.yml, so to do that is very simple. We need simply to navigate to the file, the theme.yml, then look for this module to hook, and anywhere inside this group of parameters, let's create new new hook. Let's call it any name, starting with the keyword display. For instance, I would do underscore Udemy lesson or course, whatever. Then, <coughs> excuse me. Then inside it, I will assign the name of the module that will be hooked to this hook each time the theme is reloaded or reactivated or even activate it for the first time for sure. So for instance, in my case, I will pick the name for the PS banner to be hooked each time the theme get activated. So to reactivate the theme, and this is probably one of the cons of 1.7, or probably uh, that things is still not updated yet and fixed, is to how to reactivate the theme. So for instance, I can do reset the theme, and the cons of this technique is that it will reset anything or let's say it will remove any hooked module that is not configured inside the theme.yml so for instance if you do remember we had the contact form the contact module hooked right here and once I hit reset it gets removed because it's not set to be hooked to the display nav inside the theme.yml so that was the first approach to reactivate theme the second approach is to activate another theme then back to reactivate the starter theme or the theme that you are working on but for instance i will pick the first option and i will do reset Okay, once everything is done, if I go back to the home page, I normally saw nothing. Because there is one more step to do, which is defining or calling this hook inside any of the templates. So for instance, I will pick the header template and I will simply duplicate this block and I will update the names of these hooks. So right here, oops, oops sorry. Let me just remove this. Okay, so the block name is display Udemy name, and the class is actually mandatory. But in case we would like to assign specific styling for this block and the key, or let's say the default uh, classic calling hook method hook equal hook, then each equal to the hook name as we had in the previous 1.6. Uh, Presta shop and now everything normally is ready so just me just refresh the page and the hook does show up right there so let me just inspect to show you that everything is right in place and the way we want it to be okay if we do inspect we do see that we have this display udemy class which is this one we did define right here and inside it we have the link and the block banner itself so I can just add a little bit of stuff here, whether I would like to add some padding, border, etc. But since we are working with PrestaShop, let me just make things much more easier for us. So I will use predefined PrestaShop classes. Then inside it, I will add a call MD12 and place my block right there. And if I do refresh, everything must be right in place and well centered to the template. But something was wrong since it's not in place all right so i did forget to import my mistake sorry so i did forget to import bootstrap but you you can imagine that the block this block banner will be centered to the page so that was about creating a new hook in the presta shop 1.7 and in the coming lecture we will keep going with updating and customizing the rest of the blocks of the theme.